More support for the Ministry of Education's Adopt a School initiative. The latest donation is coming from the Ansa Macau group of companies. Ansa Macau today launched its One Caribbean, One Future, One Yard event. The company's CEO, Anthony Sabga III, said the virtual concert will benefit school children in the region who are at a disadvantage due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The central role of teachers, that of governments, and other key partners and the role that they have in an ongoing duty of care to education personnel. These changes have also highlighted that the promising future of learning and the accelerated changes in modes of delivering quality education cannot be separated from the imperative of leaving no one behind. The One Yard concert will be held on Friday, October 30th at 8 p.m. Ansa Macau's investment towards this concert is valued at TT $1.5 million. And the patrons of the concert produced by Ultimate Events Limited, a member of the tribe group of companies, are being encouraged to give generously to the cause. And in partnership with the Ansa Macau Foundation, we have created a special One Caribbean Future Fund, where donations made prior to and on the night and post-concert will be used solely and within the governance framework of the foundation towards technology to support home-based learning. Mr. Sabga said Ansa Macau intends to donate some $400,000 worth of devices to TNT students alone. Education Minister Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly confirmed that this will amount to 200 much-needed devices that at the level of the ministry, what is also being done actively is the training of teachers and the reforming of curricula so that these devices, once donated as by the foundation and many other corporate sponsors that we thank, will become an integral part of the teaching and learning process going forward, not just for this tomb. To date, 45 corporate sponsors have pledged over 13,000 devices to assist the ministry in its effort to leave no child behind.